Hi. Ah, uh, yeah, nice to meet you there, Curly. Curly? Uh, my name's Artie. Uh, my human is here visiting Mr. Carson. Oh, we, we were just on our way to the park to play ball. You want to come? Love to, Red. Only right now, I I'm kind of stuck behind this fence. Can you help dig me out? But if your human comes out and finds you gone, won't he worry? Mr. Tuma? Nah, he probably locked me in here by accident. Well, if you're sure it's okay. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much, Red. Let's roll. But what about this mess we just made? Oh, oh yeah, that. Well... There you go. Good as new. Am I right or am I right? Artie? Where are you? Artie! Ah, uh, that's Mr. Tuma. Gosh, Artie, he sounds upset. Maybe you shouldn't have left the yard without him knowing. I'll relax. It's cool. You'll see. Artie, where you been? I've been worried about you. And did you do this? Did you? <laughs> oh, well, dogs will be dogs, I suppose. <laughs> wow. That Artie is one smooth operator. Hey, you Red. Oh, hi, Artie. So what are you doing today? More fun at the park? Uh-huh. I was just on my way to get Cleo and T-Bone. All right, playtime. Let's go. Cleo! Cleo, are you home? Curly, are you home? Well, hello to you. What have we got here? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. Today must be her grooming day. Let's go see if Tia's home. Right behind you, Red. Gosh, it's too bad T-Bone wasn't home either. Oh, well, Red, it looks like it's just you and me and the hedgehog. That looks like Cleo's hedgehog. Well, there's a good reason for that. It is Cleo's hedgehog. <laughs> you took Cleo's hedgehog? Took? No. Borrowed? Sure. Without asking? Well, believe me, Red. I would have asked, but she wasn't home. And if she was, well, you know, she'd let us borrow it. Well, either way, we got it. Am I right or am I right? Uh, that's not the point. Oh, come on. We're not going to hurt it. Here, catch. <laughs> well, I guess we can play with it a little bit. But we have to take it back before Cleo gets home. Wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> it has to be here. No, oh, it just has to be here. It couldn't just walk away. <gasps> Cleo's looking for her hedgehog. Guys, this is a total disaster. I can't find my hedgehog toy anywhere! Wait, maybe I left it under my dog bed. Cleo, wait! Artie and I! Whoa, whoa! Hold the phone, Red. You're not gonna tell Curly we took it. Of course! Bad idea! B.I. B.I. That's only going to make her feel even more upset. See, the important thing is we have to calm Cleo down, make her feel good. Am I right or am I right? Well, I guess so. We'll just let her find it herself. Hey, Curly! Is that your hedgehog? What? We where? Yes, my sweet hedgehog. <laughs> I thought you were lost, and you were really here behind this tree the whole time. Oh, I 
Birdie. Thank you, you're the best! <laughs> so what do you think, Clifford? Was I right, or oh, was I right? You were right, Artie. This is the biggest hole I've ever seen. Hey, well, let's have some fun. See how much deeper we can dig. Uh, I don't think we should, Artie. Okay. But you're going to miss out on an awful lot of big bones. Bones? Really? Oh, yeah. I smelled some awfully big ones down there. <laughs> Oh my, oh. <laughs> uh oh, gotta go, Red. I'll catch you later. Clifford, Clifford, what happened? It was terrible, guys. Water was everywhere, all the dirt turned into mud, and then the workers came back and Artie just ran away. Well, why would he do that? I guess he knew we had done something wrong and he didn't want to get into trouble. But he was the one who told you to dig. I know, but I knew it wasn't right. Oh, I shouldn't have let him talk me into doing it. I don't think Artie is very nice. Sure he is. He found my hedgehog toy for me. No, he didn't, Cleo. Artie is the one who took it in the first place. What? He just pretended to find it so you wouldn't be mad at us. What do you mean, us? Well, Artie took it, but then I played with it, too. I let Artie talk me into doing lots of things I knew were wrong. Helping him get out of his yard, playing with Cleo's toy, digging at the construction site. Wow, he seemed like so much fun. Well, he is fun, but from now on, I'm never going to let him talk me into doing anything that doesn't feel right to me, no matter how much fun it is. All Good right, idea. Clifford. I never thought I'd say this, but do you think T-Bone and I could get you to take a bath? Watch out, Cannonball! Hey, come on, guys. Let's play Drench the Dog. Uh, no thanks, Artie. I, I don't really like that game. Okay, okay. I've got a better idea. Let's hose down the yard and make our own slippery slide. That'll flood the lawn. Ah, this lawn could use some water, and it'll be fun. Am I right, or am I right? Whoa! Cleo, T-Bone, and I have rules we like to play by. We play fair, and we always try to do what we think is right. If you want to play with us, Artie, you have to play our way. Well, you are one big red drag. If that's the way you want to play, I'm out of here. Wow, you really stood up to him, Clifford. You sure did, big guy. Thanks, guys. Come on, let's finish my bath. Okay. Great. Here we go. Go, Kiba. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. So the way you're playing looks like it just might possibly be kind of fun. It is fun. What do you think, Clifford? You think I could take a turn? Sure. I think you're gonna like playing our way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, whoa! Oh, oh, wow! Oh, oh, oh. Am I right? Or am I right? You are definitely right. <laughs> Clifford! It's story time! You want
want to hear a speckle story, don't you? Woof, woof. <laughs> I thought so. He's your favorite. Today's story is Speckle and the Two Full Toy Chest. One day, Speckle realized he had so many toys, his toy chest couldn't hold them all. Darnell suggested that Speckle give away some of his toys, and that sounded like a good idea. So with the help of his friends, Speckle started cleaning out the chest. Darnell pulled out some swim fins and a snorkel and thought they would be a lot of fun at the beach. So Speckle gave them to Darnell. Luna discovered some roller skates. Speckle told her to please take them home with her. Reba found a fire truck with a real siren. She loved it so much that Speckle wanted her to have it for her own. Rabby and Speckle dug out matching badminton rackets from the very bottom of the chest. Speckle gave one racket to Rabby and kept one for himself. As his friends played with the toys Speckle gave them, Speckle realized how good it made him feel to share his toys with his friends. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> Exciting news to share with you this morning. I'm getting married. What? Married? Oh, wow. 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 Good for her. Woof, woof. I'd like you all to meet my fiance, Frank Williams. Hello, everyone. This is so amazing. <gasps> How did you two meet, Miss Carrington? <laughs> well, let's see. Uh, Frank and I met at the beach when he visited the island last year. At the beach? How romantic. Well, I'm not much of a water person, though. I prefer to stay on dry land. Huh? Uh, Frank is a botanist. He studies plants. I've traveled all over the world looking for plants that no one has discovered before. The jungles of South America. The deserts of Africa. I'm hoping to find some interesting plants right here on Birdwell Island. Wow! That sounds cool! I'd like to be a botanist and work out in the jungles and deserts someday, too. Well, actually, I don't spend all that much time in the jungles. Most of the time, I work in a classroom. Frank is a college professor. He teaches, just like me. But there aren't any colleges on Birdwell Island. <laughs> That's true, Emily Elizabeth. That's why Frank and I will be living on the mainland after we're married. Wow. You'll have to take the ferry back and forth every day. I hope it's on time. It wouldn't be right for our teacher sure to be late to class. <laughs> well, actually, I won't be your teacher anymore. <gasps> no! I'm going to miss you all very much, but I'm hoping you'll write to me often and tell me all about what's happening on Birdwell Island. But, Miss Carrington, you're our teacher. Mrs. Grumbly will be your new teacher. She's one of the most interesting people I've ever met, and she's got lots of great ideas that she can't wait to share with you all. Interesting is good, I guess. 
I don't want this new grumbling teacher. I want Miss Carrington. I don't feel much like playing volleyball today. I just keep thinking about Miss Carrington. I know. We're all gonna really miss her. But she did say our new teacher was very interesting. People only say things were interesting when they can't think of anything nice to say, like, gee, those new shoes you're wearing sure are interesting, or what an interesting dog you have. Mm -hmm. Besides, with a name like Mrs. Grumbly, she's probably a real crab. <laughs> or maybe she'll be really strict, with lots of rules and regulations, like someone in the... Attention! Good morning, class! Good, Good morning, morning Mr. Grumbly! I'm your new teacher, and I'm sure we're going to have lots of fun together once you understand the Grumbly rules. That means take out your books. That means turn in your homework, and this Means everyone line up at the sharpener to sharpen your pencil. Got it? Yes, yes ma'am! <laughs> it's gonna be awful listening to that whistle all day. the whistle, as long as she's nice. I just hope she likes us. Why wouldn't she like us, Charlie? Well, maybe she's allergic to kids. Okay, class. Now we will do some... <gasps> addition. Allergic to kids? No, but Mrs. Grumbly might be allergic to dogs. <laughs> Don't worry, Clifford. I'm sure Mrs. Grumbly is going to really like all of us. Oh, at least I hope she will. It's going to be weird not to have Miss Carrington as our teacher anymore, Clifford. I mean, I've known her for such a long time. Wouldn't it be great if our new teacher could be someone we already know too? what she's like until we meet her tomorrow. <laughs> In the meantime, why don't we read one of our favorite stories? Woof. There once was a little seal. I don't think she's here yet. It looks like Miss Carrington is in there alone. Do you think we're going to like Miss Grumbly at all? I doubt it. Woof. Woof. What is it, Clifford? <gasps> Look! It's her! It's her! <laughs> She's sneezing! She really is allergic to kids! Good morning, children. I'm Mrs. Grumbly. I hope I didn't scare you with that awful sneeze. <laughs> I guess my nose is still getting used to Birdwell Island's fresh air. The last school I taught at was far, far away from here. Far, far away? 
That's where I got my lucky whistle. <gasps> I use this whistle when I coach soccer for the kids during recess. You know how to play soccer? Oh, it's one of my favorite games. Mine too! I'll bet you're Charlie. Miss Carrington told me what a terrific soccer player you are. <laughs> she did? He's the best player on our team. After me, that is. <laughs> and I'll bet you're Jetta. Uh-huh. Miss Carrington told me that if I have any question about anything, you're the one to ask. You wouldn't be Emily Elizabeth, would you? Yes, that's me. Oh, I've heard that you're a wonderful help in the classroom. So maybe you can help me pass out this getting to know you snack a little later this morning? Sure. What is it? Brownies. Is that okay? Oh, that's perfect. Now, I'm guessing this big red fellow is Clifford. I'll bet you'd like a nice snack, too. What do you say we all go inside and I can get to know all of you a little better? Okay. Come on, no, right this way. Come on, it's over here. You know, Emily Elizabeth, I was a little nervous about meeting your dog, Clifford. You were? Uh-huh. When I heard how big he was, oh, I thought he might be a little scary. But now that I've met him, I see that he's a very sweet and special dog. I know what you mean, Miss Grumbly. Clifford and I were a little nervous about meeting you, too. <sighs> you were? But now we know it's a good idea to wait until you meet someone in person before you decide how you feel about them. <laughs> I can do it. 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 T-Bone, where are you going? Huh? Oh, hi, Clifford. Today I'm going to go down the big slide. But you've never done that before, T-Bone. I know. I've always been a little afraid to try it, but today I'm ready. Great. Let's go. Trying something new can be a little scary, but sometimes you just know deep inside that you're ready to try. Wow. Is he really going to do it? He said he's ready. <laughs> <laughs>